Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm just popping on quickly to show you um, some things that I have made for Laura, uh, who is Mrs. Stationery and stuff. I will link her channel down below because she makes some awesome things. Um, she's a lovely, 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 lovely person. Um, and it is her birthday at the beginning of September. So I've come on now. I won't put this out until obviously she's received everything. Uh, hoping to get it all sorted out now within the next week or so. But I just wanted to pop on to show you the handmade things that I've made her. Um, so just bear with me a sec. I'm just going to close the door a second. Um, right. Okay. So I will grab my little basket of goodies. Um, so just quick, quick then, I'm not, I haven't done a, a whole load of things. Um, so there's the shadow there. Right, I did um, a loaded bag for her and I used one of the um, bags from, I think it's Pound Shop, the, the pink bags. Um, because her favourite colour is hot pink and black. They were her wedding colours. And um, yeah, it looks like a light pink there, but it isn't. It's like a hot pink. And I've used the Hello by Doodabug because I had some scraps of it left over. So I thought, right, I'll do um, her a loaded bag. So in the front here, I've just got um, a memory dex. So I've popped it up with some um, stickers from the ephemera from the collection. Um, it had hello on there anyway, so I put lovely with a heart and a little enamel dot throughout and then this lovely typewriter here and then on the back is a flower. Um, I haven't written anything on the back like my likes or anything because Laura pretty much knows uh, my likes, so it, there's probably no real need to. So I just thought it would be nice for her to have that. Anyway, um, then I made some little envelopes using, again, some of the ephemera from the pieces. So you can get you get clear acetate ones and you also get the, the card ones as well. So I just did, did two envelopes and I used some of my um, words from uh, Tim Holtz because I, I didn't have the chit-chat in this. I only had the odds and ends. So... I uh, just made those. This little tag here, she believed she could and she did. And then this little uh, three by four cut apart and I just put some of the, um, uh, what are they called? Enamel dots on the back there. So I pop them back in there like that. And that like that. And there. That and then the front of it, I popped up one of these globes with hello and a bow, and I used some of the bordered uh, stickers from the collection because I had the 12 by 12 as well. Um, in the top pocket is um, some cupcakes that I've made using some of the pattern paper and some glitter paper, and I made one of the rosettes and put a bow on the top there. And it says, You're so tweaked, and that's from the sticker collection. What else have I got in here? Uh, some bows that I made with the paper collection. Um, some of the odds and ends out of the collection. Okay, so I thought she may be able to do something with them. Uh, there's quite a few in there, and I've just put some blue sequins in it, make it a little bit more interesting. And then what else have I got? Oh yes, and some uh, rosettes here with some of the little um cut parts on the top so you've got the pink and the yellow sorry about the glare and I've just put them in with some bag toppers on and then I have because this paper bag is quite flimsy I have like sort of um backed it with black and then the back of it is like this and I did do some piecing because obviously I was using my scraps and it's put every day may not be good but there is good in every day so those are what is in the bag and I'll put them back in after. Right, um, she loves, loves, she's not a big fan of Graphic 45, but the one she does love is the Wizard of Oz one and she loves the Alice in what, Halloween Land or whatever it's called, can't remember, it's the Alice in Wonderland one, but it's Graphic 45 style. Um, so when I was making my TNs and stuff, she obviously said how much she loved them and things. So I've decided to, uh, gift her with this one. This is one of the ones that I made 
um, and obviously you've seen it all before so I'll just quickly go through it but it's just got three inserts I've used some of the stickers from the collection I've loaded it with tags and ephemera from the um, collection and there's a pen in the back and there's pockets in the sides and things you've obviously seen this already so I don't want to bore you too much um, but yes yeah, so I decided to give that to Laura and I've also um, put that charm on the front and I've also gifted her some of the 12 by 12 sheets some of the chipper pieces and some of the stickers that I had from the packs I had two I bought two packs so I had plenty to spare her so she can decide what she wants to do with those sort of things um, but I just thought she might like some of the collection because I know she she really likes the Wizard of Oz. So, um, yeah, so I made that and then I obviously gifted her some of the collection as well. Um, I've already wrapped that up. So that is that. But with this, I have also made some handmade embellishments and a roll. So I did some of my, I've got like these uh, frame tags, like um, nesting shape. They're, they're like tags, but they're more like frame, ornate frames. Um, so I did a big one here and I layered them up. They're quite sturdy. They're on card and paper. Um, and then I did this one in, this, in um, the scarecrow. So I just put a sticker there on one of the chipboard pieces. I did a smaller one here then and I did it with this, the Tin Man. And then I did a circular doily one, which is one of the dies that Laura actually gifted me for my birthday. And I did this one in the Wicked Witch. Then I made some rosettes. So this one here has got Toto on the front. This one here has got the Wicked Witch. And this one here has got the Tin Man. And behind I've just added red rhinestones to the backing paper. I have um, done some bows for her. So I use the chipboard pieces as the middle. And I just used some of the paper from the collection. So I do apologise if I'm glaring and showing you my reflection, which is probably awful. Um, and then I made a um, another memory deck, but obviously using the Wizard of Oz papers. So I filled this one with some black sequins. And then I made this one um, using the Oz paper in the background. And I made it in the sort of the Wicked Witch, paper, Wicked Witch of the West papers um and her there so i put wicked there with the socks and um one of her there visible so they are just put them in like sort of cellophane bags um so that was those so they are to go with the wizard of Oz collection and then okay so these are awesome right the i seen these on um I don't know whether that's too bright here at the minute. I don't know how that is. Um, yeah. Natalie from Put Some Bling On It was showing these and she did them in a Christmas theme. So I ordered some of these push pops from eBay. Um, they came from China, so it took them quite a while to get you. Um, I decorated the outside with some of the paper from the collection and then I made a rosette and obviously put Dorothy, put the home sticker there. And then what I've done is I used a one and a half circle punch to punch the top here. And then what is in here, it perfectly fits. Let's stick them all out. All of these tiny small rosettes so these I think are one and a half or one and one and three eighths or something like that but obviously this pushes them up and out okay um but it's just a really nice way of holding them and gifting them so I haven't done anything major with these these are not embellished or anything I've just done a couple of different ones from the collection um using all the different papers that I've got um, like I said, I've got a couple of purple ones, a couple of green ones, a couple of orange ones. Um, so yeah, so I thought she could, like I say, I have gifted her some of the collection. So she can use whatever she needs then for that. And they just slot in there really, really nicely. I just think that's so clever. And like I say, um, Natalie put some bling did this and she filled it. I've seen these before, like Sabrina Ann uses them a lot and puts some, fills them with other things. But I thought like the rosette dye is just so clever. 
and it does fit like you say I think there's about 11 in there um obviously they're not embellished so if they were embellished you'd obviously be able to fit a little bit less but you know they fit in there nicely and I just think it's a really nice way of gifting them so yeah so I made that for her well, I can say I made it I just did it up but made the rosettes then okay so that's the Wizard of Oz stuff that I've got in there for her um and then I have made her this little simple booklet um I purchased about a year ago um some digital papers from Serena B I had some Halloween papers and I also had some Buffy papers now um myself and Jude and Laura and I think Steffi as well. I think she's getting back into it. Our major, major, major Buffy fans. Um, so, yeah. So, I wanted... I always... Uh, whenever I do a package for Jude, I always put in loads of Buffy stuff because she asks me to um, print some stuff out for her. So, that's fine. So, I always put in um, stuff for her. Um, and then I thought, well, uh, what can I do for Laura? So, I did the same for Laura, but I... I laid it out a little bit better actually I did actually apologize to Jude after because I thought oh I could have done this for you but um no so I made her this little booklet anyway and it says Laura the Vampire Slayer um and one of these cutouts from the collection and it says I'd rather be watching Buffy I cut this down to fit and then I put stickles sorry I'm banging the camera stickles around some of the circles and then I just use these hot pink dots then all around and then when you open it up the only actual paper, digital paper you get, is this one with Angel on it, um, with the, the drawing that they do of Angel. And, but you do get a lot of, um, like, cutouts. So what I did is I printed some out on vellum. So there's Angel on vellum. Got this Keep Calm and Call Giles. Slayer Fest. This is on card since 98. Board now, Bad Willow. The first... Um, and then there's obviously something that you can write underneath. Um, one another cut apart. The hardest thing in this world is to live in it. Be brave, live. That's when she dies. Oh, awful. Um, Slay it, girl. Again, another board now, but in the red. You've got the R, ah, the one they do at the end, and Slay it, girl. So they are all six by... Uh, so there's some six by fours. Actually, I think they're a little bit bigger than six by fours. Um, I just cut them out what they were showing on my printer. I didn't do anything extremely fancy because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to printing stuff. But yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll try printing some on vellum because I've never done that before. And they come out really cool. And like I say, I never did that for Jude, but I totally will for her now the next time. So I just decided to, rather than just, you know, cut them out and pass them to her, I thought, oh, I'll do this nice little booklet for her. So again, then you've got... Um, so the save, you've got five, but you can't really see that, but it says five by five is what Faith says. Um, and again, that is, is on vellum, but it's got like a pink tinge to it because obviously the, the ink was pink. Uh, you've got Keep Calm and Call Giles. You've got the angel head on normal cardstock. And if the apocalypse comes, beat me, kill me, save me, help me, love me, hide me. And why you would do that. Five by five again, bored now, bored now and then some of the six by four ones is no one asks for their life to change not really but it does the big moments are going to come you can't help that it's what you do afterwards that counts that's when you find out who you are and that's the beginning part two and that's in one of the first episodes of that uh, not the first episodes one of the uh, first season i think or somewhere like that anyway um i can never Jude's really good at knowing what they are, the, all the episodes are called, and I can I know them when I when I think about the episode, but I'm not very good with the names of them. And then this is just another pretty little uh, six by four, and like I say, that is from um, Serena B, and that is her digital collection. And so I put them in there like that. So I'm hoping she's going to like that. But yeah, I thought I'd just put it in this cute little booklet rather than just sending it as it was. And now I've got all bits all over the back of it. My desk is stinking. 
Okay, um, so that's another thing. So the main thing that I made then is this album. So I shall show you now. Okay, let's just bend this out a little bit. It's been stuck on my, well, it's not been stuck on my desk, but I've made it for a while now. Um, I used another tutorial by the lovely Michelle Allen. I will link her uh, channel down below. She's amazing. She makes some amazing albums. So I decided to do this one and it is a banner album. Um, and the banner is inside a box, so Laura's got somewhere to store it, um, if she doesn't, you know, once she's finished with it or whatever. And it's in doodlebug papers, because obviously it's her birthday, so I wanted her to have something with birthday papers on there. So you take this out, so that just stands in there like that, and like I say, this is the, um, box that it comes in, and I've decorated all of the sides. And it's quite sturdy, like I say, and that's bowing in there a little bit, but that's because of the glue that I've used. But you reinforce all the edges so that it's like nice and crisp then. So yeah, so that's the box. So then the album itself, okay, I'm going to have to try and get all of this in now. But um, yeah, so I've used as a base black cardstock. And I've used pink rib hot pink ribbon going through because again, they're her favourite colours. Um, so this is like a banner, but it's called a banner mini album. So what I've done is I've used the three by four cut parts. I've backed them onto the hot pink cardstock and then I've just decorated with some stickers or things from my stash, uh, things from the collection and some rhinestones and things. And I've decorated them all like a little bit different. So, um, so I'll show you the front first. Um, so this is the front. So this is how it will start. Okay. And then in each pocket you have a little booklet okay and this is where she would put the pictures from her birthday in it okay so it's just a booklet that opens like that and i think they are like four by four and she could put one on the back if she wanted to or do some journaling on there so it is just really it is like a little just a you know like a birthday party or whatever if she wanted to record photos of it then she could and she could just put it in here i mean it doesn't hold amazingly loads of photos but it's just something cute to have on the shelf like when you want to look back so um it's held together like i say with all of this pink ribbon so i'll try and go through it as best as i can and hold it up so again i've used one of the three by four they're all pretty similar they just all sort of different three by fours um, and again, I've just used some of the things and all of these booklets are the same. They've just got different pattern cardstock on the top. So that's that one. Then you've got this one, the third. Let's see if I can. It's really difficult to sort of. And then this one, sending my love. And then you've got this one, life is sweet sorry I'm banging the camera and then you've got this one and it says for someone special and obviously she would hang this out like this obviously you can't all see that now okay and then on the back of the banner are other spots to have photos so these are just three by four but they're plain cardstock and these are where the photos go as well. So you've got the booklet in the front that can hold, in the top that can hold like three, maybe two photos. And then you've got one on here. So if she wanted to do some selfies or some with her children or whatever, then she's got the room to put the photos there. So all on the back here, again, I've just decorated these. I've lifted up bits up where you can still fit the photo in. And I've just decorated these up like I've done the front, but I've just done the backs with the photos on them. So she doesn't have to use the booklets if she doesn't want to, if she hasn't got a lot of photos. But I'm just trying to give you an idea of, of how it looks. But it is the most fiddliest thing ever to sort of manage. Okay, and then it says one year older. <laughs> Birthday cake, let's eat. So yeah, so it starts there and then it just all sort of rabbles together like so and the bows all I, like, I was amazed that i managed to tie that many bows to be honest um and then that just all unravels there so just make sure that's all tidy so that just goes up like that and then 
ends up being that side there's the back and then you just pop it back in the box and away to go so that's somewhere for her to store it then um so yes yeah, so i hope you like that um like i say i will link her channel down below michelle she's awesome she makes some really cool things i like doing stuff that is like albums but i like them to be a little bit different and i just don't like you running the same running the mill same sort of album um it gets a bit like repetitive when you make so many of them um but stuff like this then i'm like oh yeah i really 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 like that so um yeah so i did this um and like i say it is a little bit fiddly because i haven't got like big banner dies and things so um uh yeah so i had to cut you you she tells you the templates and stuff so you just cut them as you as you need them but it is a bit fiddly to line up and things but if you do it properly and you've got a good scorer and a good trimmer you should be all right um so yeah so this is what i have made for laura like i say now i've showed you i can um package all of this stuff up and put it in her box i've got some other bits and bobs but they are all um sort of things that are like uh gifts from me so just i got a do she's gonna kill me um doodle bug so much pun odds and ends the chit chat and the 12 by 12 collection um yeah they'll just put some bits in I, I, you can't put a lot in flora because she will shout to you she doesn't like receiving loads she will really 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 shout to me when when she opens these but i'll i'll take it on the chin um so yeah so um i haven't done a mass amount but I hope I've done enough that she'll like it. So yeah, I'm hoping she'll really love the Wizard of Oz stuff. And like I say, I just wanted to do something because it is her birthday. I think sometimes you forget that it's a birthday and you don't actually have anything that's got any birthday paper on. And I'm like, ah, I still haven't made a card yet. I'm really, really open. She doesn't want one, but she's probably going to want one. Um, so yeah, so I'll have to think of something to do for that. But yeah, so that's it from me, guys. Um, I hope you all like, like I say, I will put this up once she's received it. Um, and I shall speak to you all again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.